Ah, oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, there you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this Graham? Huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family? Fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. I can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you 
fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Gotta be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Come on, come on, come on! You can't park there! Production vehicles only! <laughs> come on, you Sir, dipshit. You ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is be quiet. All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Look at that. I was stuff a 20 in this. Oh! Can I fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Hey! hey, hey, hey I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Come on! No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy! Go home! Come back here! Ah! They told us! We gotta take the truck! There! We take the truck! Hey! Hey! Not my rig! We're running that prick down! Hey, take a left up here! get treated like that. Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, yeah, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer.
He went left. Look at him. He's on the train tracks. Fucking idiot. We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this brick, all right? When we crush this little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I knew this city would be full of douchebags. man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. I've never even seen him before. The little shit's all out of juice. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head! And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, Please. come on, get no. up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. Uh. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay.
¡Ay, madre de Dios! Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Uh, thank God for that. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. No. And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. 
We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. Oh. I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronet. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillary? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? Out! Now! Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Go! 
I'm not interested in the truth. I'm out. Motherfucker. Just let me go. Requesting backup for a possible national security threat at Strawberry Corner's office. Suspect is a white male adult. IAA has authorized the use of lethal force. Suspect in the car! In pursuit! Roger. Suspect doing 50 miles per hour. In... A, uh... Gray, sports car. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. that you know how many spooks I just ran into I'm sorry they're not nice people if that's a consolation what's going on there's a big target out there something in the shadows the data algorithms are reading off the charts whoever finds it the bureau or the agency is gonna get a big bump in funding like I care about your funding I'm out Dave you're not I need you to meet my boss will be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but, you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. 
Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Shit. Car, God amigo. damn it! Oh crap! Hey, stop! You have to help me! This crazy guy's smacking the shit out of his girlfriend. I don't know what to do. I think he's gonna kill her. Come on, quick! This way. She was screaming no, and he just kept hitting her. It's just over here. We got one! Go, go, get in there! You fucking moving, you... What yeah. exactly? Oh. 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 Are you happy now? now?
Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is. 
the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> There's been a radical shift in my fortunes, Doc. I may have been a fat, miserable slob on a sun lounger, but at least that was my choice. You know? And I made a mistake. A monumental mistake. A series of monumental mistakes. The house, stock market scam, jewelry store. And now, I'm playing gun thug for the FIB. Just to pass the time, you know, till Trevor figures out if he wants to kill me. Maybe my whole family. <laughs> Out of control, no choice. These are things you tell yourself to justify your behaviors. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay?